Hey, speed lovers, have you ever wondered what makes cars go super fast? It's all about science. From the engine's roar to the tires gripping the road, every part plays a role. It's like magic, but real. The science behind it is fascinating and powerful. Cars use force to move. Force is like a push or a pull. When you push a toy car, you're using force. This same principle applies to real cars, just on a much larger scale. To make a car move, we need motion. Motion is when something changes position, like when a car zooms from the starting line to the finish line. It's all about converting energy into movement. And to get to that finish line really fast, cars need acceleration. Acceleration is the rate at which a car increases its speed. Acceleration is how fast something changes speed. The faster a car can accelerate, the quicker it can go from 0 to 60. This is crucial in races where every second counts. Think about it like this. Imagine you're racing your friend. You both start off slow, but then you push harder and harder, going faster and faster. This is the essence of acceleration, and it's what makes races thrilling. That's acceleration, and it's what makes car races so exciting. The thrill of speed, the roar of the engines, and the rush of adrenaline all come together to create an unforgettable experience. Now, let's talk about horsepower and torque. These two terms are crucial when it comes to understanding the performance of any vehicle, especially fast cars. These are two words you hear a lot when people talk about fast cars. But what do they really mean, and why are they so important? Horsepower is like the muscle of the car. It measures the engine's ability to perform work over time, essentially telling us how strong the engine is. It tells us how strong the engine is and how fast it can go. The higher the horsepower, the faster the car can potentially travel. Torque is a bit different. It's like the twisting force the engine produces. This force is what gets the car moving from a standstill. Think about when you use a wrench to tighten a bolt. You're using torque. It's the same principle in a car engine. The more torque a car has, the faster it can accelerate from a standstill. This is why torque is so important for quick launches. Race cars need lots of horsepower to go super fast on the track. They also need a good amount of torque for quick acceleration out of corners. But big trucks need loads of torque to pull heavy trailers up hills. They rely on torque to handle heavy loads and tough terrains. They may not be as fast as race cars, but they are powerful in their own way. Understanding the balance between horsepower and torque is key to appreciating different types of vehicles. Have you ever noticed how some cars have really sleek and smooth shapes? That's not just for looks, it's for speed. The way a car cuts through the air is called aerodynamics. The smoother and more aerodynamic a car is, the less air resistance it faces. Imagine trying to run through a pool of water. It's much harder than running on dry land, right? That's because of resistance. Air is like that too, it creates resistance. That's why race cars and sports cars are designed to be as aerodynamic as possible. Their smooth curves and spoilers help them slip through the air, allowing them to reach incredible speeds. Let's talk about fueling the need engines and how they work. Now, let's talk about engines. Engines are fascinating machines that convert fuel into motion, powering everything from cars to airplanes. They are the heart of every car, and they come in different types, gasoline, electric, and hybrid. Each type has its own unique way of generating power. Gasoline engines are like the classic car engines. They use gasoline to make explosions that power the car. These explosions happen inside the engine's cylinders, creating the force needed to move the car. Electric cars, on the other hand, use electricity to power a motor that turns the wheels. This electricity is stored in batteries, which can be recharged by plugging the car into an electrical outlet. Hybrid cars are a mix of both. They have both a gasoline engine and an electric motor, allowing them to switch between or combine the two power sources. This combination allows hybrid cars to be more versatile. They can use the gasoline engine for long trips and the electric motor for shorter, more efficient drives. This means they can be more fuel efficient and produce fewer emissions. By using less gasoline, they help reduce pollution and save on fuel costs. Did you know that the fastest car in the world is electric? Electric engines can provide instant torque, making them incredibly quick off the line. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. That's crazy fast. The future of engines is exciting, with advancements in technology making them more efficient and powerful than ever before. The fast lane to the future. What's next? 
The future of cars is super exciting. We have cars that can park themselves, cars that can drive themselves, and even flying cars are being developed. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. But it's not just about speed and cool features. Safety is also super important. Car manufacturers are working on advanced safety features like automatic emergency braking and lane keeping assist to help prevent accidents. So what do you think the future of cars will look like? Maybe you'll be the one designing the next super fast, super safe and super cool car.